Hey everyone, it's Tash and I'm back with a new tutorial. I love fall and I love floral. So here it is, my fall floral and acorn pattern. Okay, so first things first, I did two coats of gel polish number 109 from Ugly Duckling, of course. And now I'm going in and I'm creating the bottom parts of our acorns. So all I've done is kind of created a heart shape without the top bumps. And I'm using a custom uh, gel polish color that I mixed using, of course, Ugly Duckling gel polishes. Uh, I used number 65 and number 89, and it made this really kind of soft brown shade, which was great for the bottom of the acorn. As you guys are going to see in this video, whenever I do floral designs, I kind of jump back and forth. I start on something and then go back to another thing. So here I am creating a branch with some leaves. You can see I'm applying pressure at the top of the leaf and then as I'm working towards the branch I release the pressure and that helps kind of taper the bottom of the leaf. I'm just going back creating another little leaf at the top there and now I'm going to join the leaves that I made with the rest of the branch just by using the product that's on the nail and lightly dragging towards the branch. Okay, <laughs> now I'm back to the acorn. See, I told you guys I jump around all the time. Here I am creating the little top of the acorn, or the acorn's little hat. Uh, I'm using gel polish number 65 from Ugly Duckling. This is a great chocolate brown, and it works perfectly for the top of the acorn. So I created kind of um, a softened rectangle, and now I'm just doing a little stem on top, and I'm gonna repeat the same step on the other acorn too. So now I'm going to start creating some branches and some berries and we're creating the branches the same way we did before and then we're going to go back and create the berries by picking up a small bead of gel polish on the tip of the brush and dotting randomly near the tip of the branches. Once you're happy with the amount of berries you have on there, you're going to go ahead and flash cure just to hold everything in place. Um, I don't think I mentioned it, but I usually do flash cure in between each um, kind of design that I add on to the nail just to hold it in place. what floral pattern wouldn't be complete without flowers. <laughs> um, here I am just creating some simple kind of daisy style flowers with Ugly Duckling Gel Polish number 44, which is our beautiful crisp white. And um, I'm not paying too much mind to being really neat with this. I'm just putting it down and kind of filling in where I think it needs it. Same thing as when we created the leaves, you're going to put a little bit more pressure on the outside of the petal and then as you're dragging inwards, you're going to release that pressure and that's going to give the petal a wider look at the very tip and skinnier near the middle. And of course, flowers do have pollen, so I'm creating the pollen by dotting on uh, a couple different shades of red. I wanted to keep with the fall theme of this design, so I'm using some um, reds from our line. I believe I used number 47, which is what I used for the ber berries, and then I also used number 112, which was one of my absolute favorite colors in our line. It's this deep, deep, almost oxblood red, and it's beautiful. Our nail is starting to look pretty full now, but there are some random spaces that need to be filled up a little bit. I like the, my um, patterns to be quite busy almost, and I like a lot going on. So I'm going back now and I'm just adding some filler flourishes, I guess we'll call them. Uh, here I'm adding some leaf-shaped flowers. So all I'm doing is I'm just using a different shade than green, and I'm going in and creating the um, petal-type dots. Super technical terms here, guys. Mm -hmm. 
you can toss in some more greenery where you think you might need it like on some of the branches I thought they were looking a little sparse so I'm adding some little leaves just going back and kind of filling those spaces more leaf like flowers in a different shade So I'm just going back here and I pretty much just add anything that matches the pattern I've already created. Um, this just helps fill up those spaces like I said and of course you can leave it as full or as sparse as you'd like. I just like the look of a lot going on. I think it looks really pretty. And last but most definitely not least, I'm sealing this nail with our award-winning matte top coat. I'm going to give it a full cure in an LED light and then I'm going to wipe off that dispersion layer and reveal that beautifully buttery, smooth, velvety matte. Ta-da! And your nail is done. Hey, let's be social. Find me on Instagram at Natasha Harton.